right here in Delaware, but we are taking it out of the classroom and bringing it to EdTV. The concept is simple. Solve math problems and solve them fast. Get ready though, there is a twist. There are three students getting ready to play, but the fun doesn't stop there. You viewers at home can log on to numbersb.com and play against these contestants right now. So log on, sign in, and get ready for a buzzing good time. Because all of today's contestants are in the eighth grade, we will be playing at the most difficult levels. While you at home are getting ready, let's take this time to introduce the students who are taking the hot seat in Delaware's first math game show for kids. Contestant number one, yeah. the contestant most closest to me, Duran. Yes. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling pretty good today. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, awesome. What grade are you in and what school do you attend? I'm in eighth grade in the Gold Skyline Middle School. What's your favorite subject and lunch is not an option? Math. Math and why is that your favorite? Because I'm pretty good at it other than the other subjects. I oh, he's pretty good at it. I hear some smack <laughs> talk already starting. <laughs> Contestant number two, what's your name and what grade are you in? What school do you attend? I'm Sabika. I go to eighth grade and I attend Skyline Middle School. Awesome. Are you a math lover as well? Yes. And why is that? Because I could use it in everyday life. And what's the best example you can think of for that? Shopping. Shopping. Me and you both. I know we're going to be friends after this. <laughs> Contestant number three, down there looking studious already. What's your <laughs> name and what grade do you in? What school do you attend? Uh, I'm Akshat. I'm in eighth grade and I go to Skyline Middle School. Awesome. Now, you and Matt, you guys friends or enemies? Um, we're friends. Yeah, we're friends. We're friends? Yeah, are you, okay. Do you think you're going to win today? Yeah. What do, you guys <laughs> have, what do you guys have to say to that? I, I don't think so. Oh. Oh, it's going to be a tough competition. I can feel it coming. Now, for our viewers at home that are getting ready to play, as well as our contestants, before we start our game, let's first go over the rules. If you log on to numbersb.com and go to the game selector menu, you're going to see what I see on my screen right now. Let's first click on practice, and we are going to go on integers. That is what our contestants are going to be doing today. We're just going to go on an easier level, even though our contestants are going to be on some of the most difficult levels today. When you click on this, you're going to see three numbers with a desired result. Now, in this instance, using addition and subtraction, you are to get all three numbers to equal one. So with that in mind, let's see what happens if we do it wrong. We'll start with seven. We will add five. We get 12 and one. Now, for our kids watching and our contestants, you probably know at this point that 12 and one are never going to add up to or subtract to one. This happens, don't worry, the game is not over. All you have to do, just click undo. You're gonna go back to the main screen and you are able to try again. So now, let's see what happens when we get it right. Start with seven, we will subtract five, we'll get two, subtract one, and that will get us to one. Now, in this instance, we only used addition and subtraction. For our contestants today and those watching at home, we're actually going to use all four. Now, we just got our desired result. Now, if we click the question mark, we're going to see a number of possibilities. For, for those watching and for contestants, there's not just one way to solve this problem. The number of possibilities for this particular problem was actually four. So while we exit out of that, just keep in mind that there is not just one way to solve this. There are multiple ways. Are you guys ready to play? Yes. yes. We get a little happy dance because we're excited. <laughs> All right, Duran and you down there are just not into the happy dance. That's fine, that's fine. We are getting ready to start. For our kids at home, get on your computers. Let's get our tablets in front of you, contestants. We are going to play the game starting level 22. 8, 7, 6, 5 to get 12. Using addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Raise your hand, contestants, when you are done. You're struggling. You at home, I hope that you are getting this and are done. If not, keep working. <laughs> Five. 
Got it. <laughs> Got it. All right. All three more contestants are done. Duran, you raised oh, your hands pretty quick. Yes. So what did you do to get our result of 12? I did 8 minus 7, then 6 plus 5, then 11 plus 1. 11 plus 1. For our other two contestants, did you guys get any other possibility? Yeah. Yeah, so we have one that got the same as Duran and Sabika, you got a different one. So for those watching, keep in mind, over one possibility, we got a smiley face, which is our thumbs up for the next round. Contestants, get your tablets ready. Two, six, three, five. to raise your hand. What did you do to get six? Well, I first did five minus three. Okay, what did you do next? Uh, divided by two. Two divided by two. And then one times six. One times six. Six does equal six. Thank goodness we are gonna see a smiley face right here. We're about to be halfway done. Get your tablets re ready. Sabika, this is your time to make up. Here we go. 8, 10, 2, and 20. Kids at home, let's start working. Done. Done. So, Ron. Okay, looks like our two contestants are starting <laughs> to gain on Duran. Sadvika, you got done second that time. Awesome job. What did you do to get 14? I did 20 divided by 10. 20 divided by 10. And then 8 times 2. 16 minus 2. 16 minus 2. One of the many possibilities to get 14. We're almost done. We're on game four out of five in our first round. We have a smiley face, which means let's head to the next round. Next game, we have one, seven, nine, and six to equal 10 on level number 23. Done. <laughs> For those working at home, keep doing it. If you don't come up with the right answer right away, feel free to press undo to go back to the beginning. Done. And we are done. Akshat is on a roll down there. Duran, he's stealing your thunder. Akshat, what did you do to get 10? Uh, I did 9 minus 6. And 9 then minus 6. Plus 3 plus 7. 3 plus 7. Multiply by 1. 10 times 1 equals 10. Savika, Duran, did you guys do anything different? Yeah. Yes. So we got two different possibilities. Again, more than one way to get the right answer. We have a smiley face, and we are getting ready for our last round. This is make or break for some of you. Level 24, we have 14, 10, 2, and 29 to get 26. We are starting with our hardest level. Done. What did you do to get 26? Looking at this, I have no idea, so uh, help me out here. I did 14 divided by 2. 14 divided by 2. 10 minus 7. 10 minus 7. 29 minus 3. 10 minus 3. And 26. Now, Sabika was kind of struggling the first couple rounds, but she finished that one very, very quickly. So we'll see how the scores match up. So we're going to view the scores for this match and check out our final results. In first place, we have Duran, who did a major comeback from the other rounds. His average time was 17.2 seconds. 
followed by Akshat, who's, oh, your average time was also 17.2 seconds. Sadbika, I think you really, really closed the gap with that last question, and you ended with 21.8 seconds. How'd you guys feel about that round? That yeah. is good. good. Are you guys yeah, ready good. for round two? Yep. Yeah. Yes. All right, they're ready. We're going to take a break, and we will see you in a few minutes. 